Welcome to the LA Times Fried Fish Sandwich Throwdown. I'm joined by Ben Mims and Lucas Kwan Peterson, and we are going to eat a bunch of fast food fish sandwiches and tell you which one is good. Jen, what is the history of the fast food fish sandwich? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, funny you ask, Lucas. Okay. Uh, McDonald's had the original one. Um, one of the franchise owners in Cincinnati in the 60s noticed a dip in sales around Lent time because his Catholic diners were not eating beef on Fridays. So he created the fish sandwich. It was very popular and now it's on menus everywhere. And so all the other chains kind of followed suit over the years. Okay, so we have five. We have McDonald's, Burger King, mm -hmm. Popeyes, Wendy's, Jack in the Box. Yeah. Okay. And Popeyes is the new one. Popeyes is the new one, yes. Okay. Why can't you give up fish for Lent? Shouldn't you have to give when that I up? Well, I think if you're a Catholic, there's like actual strict rules about giving up stuff. Like we just like uh, give up fun stuff, but they actually give up real uh, stuff like okay. meat. And when is Lent? Now? It is now. like 40 days before Easter? Yes, correct. Is that correct? Thank God you're yes. here, Ben. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna Let's start with McDonald's. With McDonald's? This McDonald's one. Notice though the half piece of cheese. It is very soft and mushy. It's unitextured. Yeah, whoever's making the sandwiches, I just wish they would like put the ingredients on and then like spread them around so that you got like a little bit in each bite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. That's that one. Let's do Burger King. Okay. The bun is yellower. Yeah. <laughs> the bun is yellower. Shiny. It is. It does have more of a sheen on it, doesn't it? There's mm. pickles. Whole pickle chips, in addition to tar sauce. Lettuce. Let's see, I do chunk. like a Burger King's chicken sandwiches because it's just mayonnaise and pickle chips. So that's like, this is just there. Mm -hmm. They swapped out the protein. I like the added texture of the iceberg, the pickles. Mm. There is more texture to the fish on the coating as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jack in the box. Mm. Shredded lettuce, a little brown. Very inside. Brown, very brown lettuce, no pickles, no cheese. Oh man. This one is very chewy. I'm gonna say it oh, yeah. tastes like burned rubber. What is that burnt taste? You it's know how when everything and, like, gets, rancid. It's kind of gassy and when everything starts to taste the same because they fry everything in the same oil. Alright, here we go with the newcomers. Wild caught Alaskan fish. <clears throat> Wendy's. From Wendy's. Oh, this this kind of has some character to it. Oh, okay. Also, the lettuce is not shredded. Mm. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that lettuce is bad. I like it's how they give us, you know, the, the foil heat trapping wrapper. Make the pickles sure it's nice are and good, warm. though. There's a full slice of cheese, and there's some serious herbs in this. Well, there's dill in the yeah, it looks, mayo. Like, the dill gives it that ranch flavor. It has like a ranch fish sandwich. I don't love this. They all taste like. Old oil. Yeah, this is like it's just it's hard to chew. Mm. This is oh, the largest sandwich. This is so Ooh, big. Well, and the packaging is like whoa. nice and sturdy. This is a big boy. Oh whoa. The sauce, the sauce is kind of just kind of gel. Valentine's Day in the shape like oh my gosh, mine is too. <laughs> Thank you, Popeyes. Big pickles. You have pickles on yours? Yeah, you don't have oh, pickles. The bottom. Let me see your bottom. I have a very. <laughs> mine looks like like Oregon <laughs> or something. That's you don't have pickles. You can get a heart one. Oh, you, yeah, oh, you no. have some pickles. Oh well, I got two giant pickles. So okay. there's only pickles. All right. And, and a, sauce. A little bit of sauce. It has a fried chicken coating. It's got some. I see spice specks on of it. white red. I was expecting like a thicker fillet, like a much nicer like actual fillet of fish, as opposed to this like thin patty. Because it's Popeyes? No. I I mean, I think the fish on this is nicer, but it's mm -hmm. also clear that the coating is really thick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the coating, it's like half the thickness of the, uh oh. <laughs> it's like half the thickness of the. Of yeah, the it's barely, flag. it's barely any <clears throat> fish. Yep. But, but, it, but it tastes like fish. Yeah. I think this fish has the best flavor. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's your ranking? One through five. Ooh, okay. 
I actually like the Burger King one the best. Really? Yes, Burger King, then Popeyes. Whoa! Yeah. Huh? Because this to me tastes like a fast food, like this yeah. This to yeah. me tastes like what I want the filet fish to taste like. Fair. This one gets extra points for that. So yeah, I'm gonna wow. do Burger PK King. Wow, is number one. Burger King, huh. Popeyes, Wendy's, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, the lowest it could be. Wow. Like, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Interesting. Hot take, I know, okay. Should I get mine now? Yeah, Ben, yeah. okay. <clears throat> I would have to go number one with Popeyes. Like I, maybe it's also because like, I love Popeyes the most, so mm -hmm. I love that flavor. Like this could be tofu, this could be chicken, this could be anything, it would taste good. I have to agree with you, I'd say Burger King is my number two, so I would swap yours, because mm -hmm. it's what you want, like, it's what you expect. Yeah. And it meets that expectation. Filet of fish, number three, classic. And then I think just because Jack in the Box is so bad, I would say Wendy's four, Jack in the Box, that lettuce. Ah, mm, man. No, not it. So bad. Yep. So bad. Lucas, how about you? Clearly the best one is Popeyes. I don't know what you're going on about. I mean, yes, Popeyes is it, is is very the good. The meat quality is better. It tastes maybe, more like maybe fish. it's because I like want to put it in a different category all its own. Because the, mm. I don't know when I just think fast food fried like fried fish sandwich, I just feel like this is this is what someone's expecting, and like it's like yeah, the best version of but it. But shouldn't we be elevating our expectations for what fast food could be, Jennifer? No. no. Well, I just. Popeyes is clearly better than all of them. Um, BK is number two, though. I like the iceberg. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna swap Wendy's and McDonald's. This was the main, the the, the, the floppy piece of lettuce was the main problem. Yeah. I'm I'm actually gonna say Wendy's and McDonald's are tied. And then I think we decided that. Ooh. Jack in the box with the brown lettuce Oof. and the rubbery texture and the fact that it tastes like burning gas, <laughs> like a burning gas leak. Tastes like a gas leak. Is uh, is in last place. I mean, I go by what I finished and I just ate this entire. Yeah, Popeyes. you did eat the whole thing, <clears throat> man. Popeyes, okay. Popeyes really brought it. Like they really brought it they with did. the chicken sandwich wars. I mean, who knows? Let's see if they'll be able to keep it up. And fish is a hard sell though, too, because I didn't have to wait in line very long for this fish sandwich. Mm -hmm. Remember when the chicken sandwich came out? It was like That's everyone true. had yeah. to have it. Being rationed. Yeah. Well, people... I also like feel like most people forgot that fast food fish sandwiches even existed. Until so, now. So like now Popeyes is making it a big thing again. Okay. There you have it. Go to Popeyes or. Burger King for your fried fish sandwich. Thanks, Jen. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Wonderful. Happy Lent. <laughs> Happy Lent. <laughs>